Hello everyone, just a quick note. Um, if you are subscribed to my uh, channel, The Italian Juicer, um, th I am not going to be putting any more videos up on that site. This will be the last one. So if you are subscribed, you want to go to my new site, uh, new channel, The Healthy Italian, only because I'm going to be putting a bunch of recipes and stuff and I didn't want to limit it to just juicing. So um, the link will be below and uh, go ahead and subscribe to, the, to that channel. Uh, if you want to get any new uh, new recipes or any new videos I put up. Uh, thank you. Ciao. Hello everyone, Virgilio Urbano, the Healthy Italian, and I wanted to give you an update on my um, on my tower garden. Uh, we are about four and a half weeks, and that is from the time that the first seedlings went in here. Some of them were um, come up faster, especially the lettuce, and some of them are slower, like the tomatoes. Um, I will zoom in after, but I, I, I'm kind of excited because I'm actually going to pick uh, some vegetables today. I'm going to spin this thing around so you can kind of see. But uh, over here, I got some uh, organic dip lettuce. And uh, um, as you can see, everything is um, its just so clean. There's no dirt, no bugs. Um, Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely delicious. So clean. Over here. I'm going to spin this thing around. Over here you can see the baby bok choy is just doing, uh, just doing this great. Wow. You know, we're, we're supposed to get more rain, I mean, not sort of rain, we're supposed to get snow again. It's April 20th, and um, we're supposed to have another storm tonight. So to be able to, just to be even get a start on these vegetables is just fantastic. So um, I'm going to spin this around some more, and uh, our squash is just really starting to do fantastic. Um, I got some more bib lettuce here. Uh, somewhere in here, I have some uh, this uh, arugula, and if you are an arugula fan, you have never tasted um, something so nutty, so fresh, just just amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go around. And I'm gonna pick a nice little salad and mix the three or four different of all the lettuces that are ready. And, uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'll do another zoom in so you can kind of just look at all the, all the vegetables and how everything is doing. So, so far so good with the Tower Garden Indoors. One, you know, just always want to let you know that I do have a grow light on one side, natural light. I spin things, this around every single day. You know, you have to make sure that you have, um, you know, the right uh, pH level. I did buy a little tester like this. Um, on Amazon for about 12 bucks. I'll probably put the link up for that so you can find it. Um, it's really worth it. Makes it really easy. And uh, one other thing is it's not very hot in here, um, you know, because of the temperature, especially this time of the year in the winter time. Uh, we're like at 65 degrees, um, and uh, you know, 68 degrees. So I would say that that probably does affect. The, the growing of the tower garden um, where if you were indoors and it was a lot hotter it would it'd probably go a lot faster but so far I'm pretty happy things some things are going slower uh, some things are doing great you know you do if you are like this lettuce is starting to do well so what I started doing is I started planting some seedlings and um, so that when I pull all these out I'll have some new ones ready to go in so you want to want to keep a, a cycle going all right, uh, ciao. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to zoom in um, so you can get a better look at all these beautiful vegetables on here. And um, I did add some more. The arugula was so good, so I planted some more. Um, I had a couple of seedlings that did not come up. And um, so the, the squash is really... Are you doing well? I think the reason why the tomatoes, and they're, they're doing okay, but I think the reason why the tomatoes are not doing so well is because it's, it's just not hot enough in here. Um, but, 
you know, that one looks to be doing okay. And uh, so I just wanted to give you a quick little little shot here. And, um, you know, I know that if you, on your website, it tells you that, uh, you know, you should have vegetables in about five or six weeks, which, you know, some of them you will. And, um, but uh, I would say a lot of these is probably going to be more, um, you know, maybe a month less than an actual grown cycle if you're going to plant them in dirt, unless you had the right environment with the humidity and maybe even a little mini greenhouse uh, effect would make this uh, go a lot faster. But I'm pretty happy so far. All right. Ciao.